hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video we will see how we can add entity framework in asp.net mvc project so this is our asp.net mvc project and for adding the entity framework into this we will do right click on the solution and go to add new item and here you have to search ADO so this this is the model that we select and here you can give any name of the um, database that you will be using so this can be any name okay so we will say db employee now why it is we are using because in the database uh, uh, we have a database with this name however you don't need to uh, put the same name as the database you can put any name so here we are just uh, using the same reference okay so don't confuse about this uh, you can put any name here so we will click on the add so here you will see four options and we have to select the first option now it basically says it will create the ef designer from database so we already have the database like we seen so we will click on the new connection so in the server name you can put the server name that you use for the database connection so here are the old databases we can select db employee and we can click ok so you can choose your own uh, database name so and now here you have to notice the name db employee entities now this is the name which we will use for using the entity framework uh, tables uh, in the code so you have to remember this name okay so we can click on next so you have to select the latest one entity framework 6 click on next so and now and this is the main part here you have to select the tables which you want to import in the entity framework so uh, for now you we will select employee table but you can select all the tables and stored procedure so we will currently select the employee table only and we will click on finish so after you click on the finish button then it will take some time to add all the database objects which you have selected in the uh, entity framework admx file and you will be able to see the admx file created on the uh, root so uh, it can take some time in processing So you can see the generated model file db employee.edmx. Uh, so we have to check the solution explorer. There we must find the edmx file. And so this is the admx file that is created by default and here you will see the employee table which we have just added so now we will see how we can use this admx in the code part so suppose we want the list of the data from the database now uh, you remember we have seen this uh, written while adding the connection okay so this is we will add to use the admx table so you can put a dot here and here you will be able to see the table employees okay so this is the same table that we have in the um, database so if you want to get the record then we will put to list over here and now just for uh, showing that it is working we can put the result in the var variable okay so we will put a breakpoint and run the application so if it works correctly you must be able to see the data from the database okay uh, by that time we will just see uh, what is available in the database so 
so uh, this is the table name that we will be using so we can check how many records are there so uh, there are two records available in the database and now if we are able to see the antibug here then we must be able to see two records in the list a variable here So uh, you can see the uh, code is on the debugger now. Now you can see that it will check uh, and get the data from the database. And so here in the list, you will be able to see the two records that we just seen in the database. Okay. So on um, this is how you can access the um, tables from database using the entity framework. Okay. Now, uh, if you need more information about uh, how to do the operations, different operations like add, update, delete on this, then we can make a separate video for this. So this video is just about uh, how you can add the ADMS in your MVC project. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching guys and let us know if you are facing any issue in adding the uh, entity framework in your MVC project. Thanks for watching.